she would rather um her not being, you know, her being a hundred and keeping a hundred and, you know, acting how she acts. What the fuck is going on? Oh, what? Girl! Oh my gosh. Girl, let me get the footage. Girl, she just beat her dog ass. Oh my gosh. That dog just beat that lady dog ass. I cannot believe it. Get y'all dog. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, let me get him. Hey! I'm getting him. Come on. Come here. Come here. Let's go. You know, damn way you ain't supposed to be outside. Bring your ass. Buying people and shit. Hell wrong with you. Uh -huh. Bitch, try again. What's going on, Saint Gangs? This is me back in the motherfucking video, bitch. As y'all can see, we are finally here at the reunion of the BGC spinoff or whatever that they had or whatever. I hate it. This shit, like, I hate this shit so fucking much, y'all. Like, this shit suck. Ass suck. Ass suck. Ass. It sucks ass. It sucks ass. <laughs> this motherfucking reunion sucks so bad. I don't know why the fuck y'all wasting my time with this bullshit. Like, I'm thinking it was gonna be cute. No, actually. I didn't even think it was gonna be cute. After I saw the Jocelyn Cabaret reunion, I was like, okay, yeah. I know Jocelyn Cabaret reunion let me down, but I know Baddies ATL been let me down the whole season. Jocelyn Cabaret, y'all still had a good season, so you know, I ain't gonna get y'all too much on the reunion, but Baddies ATL, y'all had a bogus ass season, and then y'all had an even bogus sure ass reunion. We gonna go ahead and get to this bullshit. I already know, y'all know it's bullshit, I know it's bullshit, so let's just get into the bullshit. Why well, first, they start off them um, building the set, like it was love and hip hop. Then they got the girls coming out the car one by one. Y'all know how they love to do that. Everybody got their big one. Natalie, the only one who was dressed before she got there, because the bitch only had like some sweatpants on and some cornrows and some beads. So she didn't really have, you know, no outfit to change into. Jason, I, I actually lived for him being a host. I feel like a lot of more stuff got done. It was more organized than Betty's, um, than Jocelyn Cabaret, because he did like, you know, snapped them bitches together like bitches kept talking over him and he kept treating her ass like y'all need a host like that cause just like Jocelyn fucking reunion nothing could get done cause all these bitches wanna keep talking including Natalie it was like Natalie and Jocelyn y'all need y'all own show together now that I will watch I don't wanna see season 3 of motherfucking um baddies fucking whatever the fuck I don't wanna see season 3 of motherfucking Jocelyn Cabaret make a show with Natalie and Jocelyn and then do a bad girls club all over again that's how you will get my money Cause right now my subscription is canceled. So Nene asked Christina who she coming for. Christina says the only person that she saw on the plane was Natalie. So then Natalie should call it um that girl from the other city. I probably forget her fucking name, but the blonde bitch that be messy as hell. But you never see her in person. The bitch is so messy online, but I never see this bitch come to anything BGC related. So for some reason, she was on the phone with her. She wasn't even on the fucking show, so I don't even know why she was talking to her. Tanisha tell her that she saw um, Natalie got on Scrubs and how she um, gonna be professional if she come and represent the scroll. Bitch, you know why she got on fucking Scrubs? This bitch just had an audio leaking of her talking shit about everybody, talking shit about people's kids, bitch, and she needs some motherfucking shit where she can move and swing and duck, bitch. Jason and Natalie toasting each other. He said he not get drunk because he gotta be ready for the shit. Seven said she didn't know what the um they had, like why would they have a reunion for? And then that's when they spilled the tea and she's like, now we got something to actually talk about. Cause at first, at first like really what would the reunion be about? Like most of the problems in the house got resolved because y'all was all like kicking in and cooling at the end. So I guess them bringing the audio made the reunion. Now Jason say everybody talking about Natalie and say that somebody gotta be the bad guy and Natalie say it's a lot going on. The person who stirred the pot is not here cause y'all know Miss Sarah, Miss Oliver, Miss Sarah, Miss Oliver didn't show up to the motherfucking reunion. Sarah, I really, really, really am disappointed in you because bitch, if you would've came to the reunion with the receipts, bitch, it would've been iconic. Like, you did your shit, I will say, like regardless of you not showing up, bitch, your your little whole little thing you was doing online with the with the fake bags and the, and the Natalie's funeral and all that other shit, bitch, you ate that. I was gonna do I actually should still do a review on Natalie funeral because you definitely had a lot of receipts and a lot of shit that you, you know brought into the light. But bitch, you should have came through so they can whoop your ass for doing that. Like, girl, you can't just leak some shit and think bitch is gonna not whoop your ass for it. Like, girl, come on now. So they just say she heard Judy um 
uh, say that they, they was bad EPs and Judy was like, yeah, bitch, y'all suck. Cause yeah, y'all do suck. Seven upset about Natalie. She say, cause that's why Natalie can't hold a friendship and she got all fucked up to talk about her kid. Seven, bro, you should have ran up on Natalie. I don't know why the fuck you trying to like, I know I know you that girl, you know you wanna keep it cute. Bitch, we needed you to be her ass and you did it. That bitch talked about your fucking kid, bitch, you know I take long. Like, you know, what take long got some bitch talking about her kid, she ran up on that bitch. You should have ran up on that bitch. Natalie said she don't feel betrayed because the bitch is not her friend. For one, Natalie, bitch, but backstage you said you don't give a fuck about what these bitches feel and they're not your friends, but on stage, when they ask you about how you feel, you say, oh, you apologize, you so apologize. Natalie, you're giving me Jocelyn vibes. You're, 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 you're literally giving me Jocelyn vibes. You're literally like being a hypocrite and just contradicting yourself just like Jocelyn just did on her whole reunion. Uh, Sydney say Natalie hurt her feelings and look at Natalie as a friend. Whatever the fuck you got to say, Sydney, we don't get it to you when we gotta get to your ass. You was out here making us look bad. Christina say Natalie coming with cornrows to fight but not to be able to speak as a woman. Christina is definitely grown. I have seen like she has definitely turned a new light and become a new bitch. Because she's saying like, girl, you coming with cornrows because you know damn well bitch is trying to come for you. But you can't talk yourself out of the situation as a grown ass woman. Like, bitch, y'all should be her ass. She came ready to fight. Y'all should have fought her ass. Like, what? So, um, like, bitch, you literally just talk shit about everybody and then just came in cornrows and said, oh, well, bitch, I don't got to apologize. <laughs> and all you bitches sat there and let her do that. Like, is it Jocelyn or Runya part three? Because it's giving part three. Tamar finally get here. <coughs> Tamar for one. I live for her being this real. At first I was kind of like, why is she here? But like now I'm actually like living for her being here. They talk about Sarah, Aaron, out Natalie, and Natalie have a lot of work to do in order to, you know, bring the girls together because her herself is not a good leader. A duh. Tamar and Jason meet each other. She says she nervous, and then she says she feel like a fight is coming. And um, Natalie say that she don't want um, Jason to talk about the, um, the whole leak of the tape situation, but he said he gonna talk about it anyway because she lied to all the girls and he could lie to her. Why the fuck do you and Jocelyn feel like y'all could dictate what the fuck happened at the reunion to a show? Bitch, it's a show. What happened on the show, y'all ask questions bitches wanna hear. Y'all can't dictate what the fuck. What is up with y'all? Like, both of you hoes. Y'all both be ass whoopers. Natalie and Jocelyn. Like, why y'all feel like y'all could just feel like, oh, we can't talk about this because we can't talk about it. Bitch, who was you? This is my mouth. I said the fuck I please, bitch. Ooh, y'all should've ran up on both of them hoes. They might say, um, it's a sisterhood. She wanted season two, um, so she wanted like, you know, dial it down and get to all the mess. And then Jason said, he just wanted to see a fight. And I literally lived for that. Like, at, to that point, I was like, baby, you here for the right reasons. Bitches been talking shit this whole time. Baby, it's been, been, baby, tweets and all this other shit. I wanna see a bitch get that shit smack. So now it's finally the stage time after they do their whole little backstage thing. And um, Jason opened up reunion and introduces Tamar, and then Tamar come out, you know, looking cute or whatever. I ain't gonna fuck with Tamar, cause that's, a, that's an iconic bitch. The boy, Matt Cash, who made that ugly ass song, Shawty, she a bad bitch. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, the song is cute, I wanna say it's a bad song, but it wasn't Bad Girls Club. It didn't give me any, like, y'all could've gave me if y'all not fun, cause I'm that stupid, wanna get drunk, what's up, no? Walk on sounds, I got low, run the sounds, see, Monday, I'm in Tuesday. Y'all could've gave me, um, the live fast, bad girls, bad girls, do it where I live fast, die young, bad girls, do it where my chain gets my chance, when you bending on the dance. Y'all could've gave me a bop, but y'all wanna give me my fucking, she a bad bitch, oh, 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 my gosh, Oh. Now all the girls walk out doing they little big one or whatever. Jason say everybody look good, which he did definitely lack because them bitches look the mess. They asked Tanisha why is she in all black. Then Tanisha say, oh, a fat joke again. Baby Tanisha, we are tired of the fat joke. You're not fat anymore, sweetie. So always, oh, I'm wearing black because I want to be skinny. Bitch, you're skinny already, okay? Find a new bitch because we're sick of the first one. Christina say, um, she always ready and um, she came, you know, ready to do her shit. Judy say she is the bad girls club. Is she not? Like, let's be for real. Judy say, um, she loves Tamar and Jason to pieces. And then Sydney like, but do they love you though? <laughs> this is when I was like, okay, Sydney finna start her shit. I instantly thought like, okay, girl, she finna start her shit through me and she is not finna act right. Judy say, girl, why you always on my clip? Sydney say, you're a copycat because you only got on the same pink dress. Judy, like, I understand, like, you know, you had a, you know, you want to come to your little cute little peacock one. But Sydney girl, why the fuck you got a fucking Amazon two-piece set on a motherfucking reunion, bitch? What the fuck? Sydney, you was supposed to be a transgender diva, bitch. You should've came with a gown being a bad bitch. 
you came with a motherfucking wrestling outfit on, bitch. Like you always do. Why do you like wrestling outfits so much, bitch? Like, what's up with you in WWE? Sydney said she was interviewed on um, Jason Trump because she's that bitch. Then Judy said that Sydney is just a huge fan of her. And then Jason said he want to keep talking so, like, they don't get to fight you. And I'm like, yeah, because, like, y'all just argue back and forth. Bitch, we saw y'all do this in the house. We don't need to keep seeing that over again. So then now Tamar say um, Janelle look good and then Cindy like Murray say that's a lie. Then that's what Seven say don't come for her friend and then Janelle like she feel like how she looks she look good and then that's what they say her ass was fat. She's like yeah my ass is figgity fat. <laughs> that was funny as fuck. She said yeah it's figgity fat. I live for Janelle like Janelle is giving me what I needed the whole shot. Like, she's really been the only person that has been giving me what I need the whole time. Like she's step pretty. She had good punchlines and jokes. She did a little messy shit sometimes. And she, if she would have beat Sydney ass Janelle, you would have went down to my books. No, baby, you would have became one of my favorite bitches on Bad Girls Club if you would have beat the fuck out of Sydney. Because, bitch, somebody need to run. The bitch can't even stand up. And she talks so much shit, girl. If you can't even stand up and keep your balance, what makes you think you can fight and talk all this shit? Tamar introduces Sydney finally. And Sydney says she the first trans in the bad girl. And, you know, Judy do her big iconic, like, rah, 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 to her. So then that's when um, Sydney say Judy came looking like her because she admiring her. Uh, then that's what Judy said. You can't look like her because you want to be me, bitch. Sydney said, bitch, this is the first time your hair look nice. And then Judy like, yep, it sure is, bitch. What lace, what lace. And they finally recap the season. They showed a little clips or whatever of what happened on the show and shit. And then Tamar said how she feel about Sarah not being here. Sydney said that she think it's scary and um, that she put all that stuff out and then come. Jason asked Natalie what he felt about Sarah, you know, not coming. And she said that um, Sarah should have came. I got to put the camera right here because I guess it can't be in the sunlight for that long or whatever. Back to what I was saying. Christina said that she don't feel like Sarah is a coward. She just feel like she just did what she needs to do and she did what she felt was right. And if she feel like she handled it as an adult, then that's how she handled the situation. She's not going in on Natalie. And Judy said Sarah felt disrespected the whole time on the show. Like, felt like on the show that people was, like, treating her bad or whatever. I mean... Sarah didn't get disrespected on the show. I just felt like she was like a puppy dog. Like she was the air bitch that you couldn't be around for for too long. But you be like, okay, girl, just shut the fuck up. Like, girl, just shut up. Like, just be quiet. Janelle didn't like talk about like, girl, if you you want to come and like say your piece, or you want to come and like bust some shit open, like, why would you not do it at the reunion? Cause the reunion is where like you come and you know come together. We all talk about it and say your piece. That's when Tamar asks, does anybody feel a way about what Natalie say? Now this one I was ready for everybody to go in on Natalie, but then Natalie interrupted her quick as fuck. Was like, wait, 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 cause she know the girls was gonna start digging her ass, this bitch. You said what the fuck you said, and I feel like low key Natalie know that Sarah was recording her, and she just didn't give a fuck. And that's also why I feel like they should be beating Natalie ass because this whole time, Natalie talked so much shit and then just sat there and smoked that fucking posh the whole time. Like, literally just hitting the motherfucking posh. Why, why, did she just talk about bitches' kids, talk about bitches' drug addiction, talk about bitches not hitting on the charts. This bitch just sitting back, feet up, hitting the motherfucking posh. If y'all don't whack that bitch, her motherfucking Adam's out. Who do she feel like she is? So then Tamar said, um, like, is you gonna apologize? And then Natalie said, like, you know, yes, she wanna apologize about everybody feelings being hurt, but when the fuck is, like, her, anybody gonna talk about her feelings being hurt? Then Tamar getting her ass, like, girl, like, we not talking about your feelings right now, bitch. They didn't go and make no idea recordings about you, so why is we talking about your feelings when you didn't, that's not what the fuck, like, that's not the reason that you, you know, apologize. Tamar kind of, like, got irritated with Natalie and was just saying, like, girl, like, you know, you making it about you when, like, it's not your fucking time. Like, you should just say sorry. So, like, if you're not gonna say sorry, then just don't say sorry, but, bitch, you both should say it. Seven and Christina get their time over. They talk about how they felt about, you know, her talking shit. Christina say she don't really care about an apology because, she know, she know for a fact that it wouldn't be a real apology because Natalie don't give a fuck at the end of the day. We seen backstage before Natalie came out, she literally said, I don't owe none of these bitches an apology because they're not my fucking friends. Bitch, if you feel like that, when Tamar asked you, does, it, does you owe an apology, you should have been like, I don't give a fuck. I said what I said, and I said what I said. You should have just been a badass bitch and just did, just did it like that. She would rather um her not being, you know, her being 100 and keeping 100 and, you know, acting how she acts. What the fuck is going on? Girl, let me get the footage. Girl, she just beat her dog ass. Oh my gosh. That dog just beat that lady dog ass. I cannot believe it. Get y'all dog. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, let me get him. Hey! I'm getting him. Come on. Come here. Come here. Let's go. You know, damn way you ain't supposed to be outside. Bring your ass. 
biting people and shit. Hell wrong with you. I'm sorry, lady. Well, it's not your fault. No, I know. That's the that's the neighbor dog. Yeah, that dog like literally hit the gate and it growled. Girl. You're welcome. Bitch, the day in the life of me, you gotta save a bitch dog life. That motherfucker dog was banging her out. Oh shit, we got we caught that laugh on camera, y'all. God damn, I can't even get into the shit. Everybody getting their ass to be other than Natalie. God damn! God damn! So Christina said she just got off a of drug addiction and you know she don't got time to, you know, explain herself to Natalie about how she feels. Cause at the end of the day, Natalie is not somebody that she confided in or not somebody that she fucked with. Well, she would have to give her an explanation about what she said or what she's going through. She didn't get digs in Natalie's ass and was just like, girl, you the type of person that wanna put out all everybody else's dirty laundry and, and say what you feel about people, but you never wanna self-reflect and talk about what you got going on up in your life or your faults or your husband being out here sneaky DL and sucking dick. Like, you have yet to address that your husband be fucking niggas. Like, when are you gonna talk about that? We have been waiting for a long time for you at least to say something about it, but your man has been literally, people been saying he's been DL since y'all started talking, and you have literally said nothing about that, but yet and still you always have something to say about somebody else and what they got going on. I don't get it. Jocelyn and man give me the same fucking vibes like these niggas be like strong bitches to fucking bitch them out and call them out their names. And it's just like, I see it in my day age because I do pull a lot of niggas like, I have niggas, y'all. Like, I have so many fucking niggas. I was trying to be in a relationship for a little bit. The shit didn't work out. Bitch, I'm on my whole shit on go shit. And when I tell you these niggas love a mean ass bitch that's gonna smack the fuck out of them and treat them and, and bitch, they love that shit. So, I just need Natalie to give me an explanation about why her nigga out here is sneaky dick. So then Christina say Natalie personality on TV is to just eat people with her words and she never talk about herself. So then Jason say it isn't the same thing uh, that Sarah did to her because you know Sarah's personality is that she want to be the Miss T and Miss Spill It All but she can't come in the face and be Miss T and Miss Spill It All. She got to sit at home and be scared. You know you want to be the big bad bitch when you um, got all your receipts and you, you mother mistress or you got all the sneaky shit you got all the receipts but you can't come and present them in bitches faces. I don't like that. Natalie interrupt Christina and Christina say, um, you know, don't interrupt her. Then they um let you know Christina talk again. And then Christina say, who gives a fuck about what Sarah got to say? And then Natalie say Sarah the one who told everything about her. And then Christina like, can I finish? Can I finish? So then why Christina like can I finish? Judy big drunk goofy ass on get up and go drink the um Jason drink out his fucking cup. And then she gonna try to hug him and then he like bitch COVID back the fuck up six feet. Six feet hole. It made her look fucking dumb and tell like, Judy girl, you have to have a ditzy moment. Every reunion, we gotta wait for your dumb ass to stop doing dumb shit. It's like you and Sydney, I know for a fact y'all was friends in real life because y'all act exactly alike. Both of y'all do unnecessary ass, crazy ass shit for no reason and then just be like, I'm sorry. Y'all, for one, know damn well y'all don't hate each other for real. They were just saying like, on the reunion, like when we get to it, like y'all just really friends in real life. Y'all just doing this for the show. like. Y'all act exactly alike. When she hear Sarah's side of the story, then she'll address her. Seven definitely gave me what I needed to give other than beating in Natalie's ass, but she definitely gathered her right up. She said that her son was spoke on and should be in grown folks' business and said that she a real bitch at the end of the day and she not finna be hugging bitches and kissing their ass and then, you know, fighting them the next minute like how bitches is. She said these bitches, she literally treated all the hoes. She said these bitches be motherfucking fighting and then hugging the fucking next minute, bitch. I'm not used to that type of environment. She not used to that fake bitch shit, bitch. She said I'm a real bitch through and through. If I get if I got a problem with a bitch, that bitch is gonna know I have a problem with you and bitch you're gonna feel it because I'm not gonna fuck with you. Then they asked Sydney how she felt about it. Sydney said she was hurt because she never talked bad about Natalie and she always like, you know, thought of her as a role model. And she just said like wanna know like why Natalie said that about her. And then that's when before Natalie gets to tell you, like, you know, respond to all of them, here come Judy ass again, talking about some nobody likes you. She said, she said, Sydney at the end of the day. Nobody likes you. That was funny as hell. So then Tamar asks um, why she did was disloyal to Sydney. And then Natalie says she wants to bat for Sydney to even get her on the show regardless of if she felt like she was talking shit about her. And she the reason that you got here because it was only supposed to be for certain people and you're not a, a bag on the show. And Judy say um, regardless of if she wants to bat for um, Sydney that Sydney is still trash. And then Sydney like said like bitch shut the fuck up with your party city wig wearing ass. You lucky your wig look nice today. And that's one thing for sure. Judy wig has never looked as nice as it did on this reunion. How many rooms she's been on? This is the first time her hair was actually like snapped. She lucky that her brother don't knock her in her shit. And then that's what Jason did come through with the trans issues. Now, 
what I feel about the, the whole homophobia and thing with Judy, Judy is a Chicago girl. For one, Chicago bitches have a ruthless mouth, for one. They will dig in you whatever way they can that's gonna hurt you the, the worst. Like, when they argue, when Chicago bitches argue with they nigga, bitch, they will literally try to put them on blast about fucking with, like, trans girls or try to put them on blast for being gay. They don't even be gay. Like, they will literally go in his phone, text a message, a screenshot, it, and then try to post it to literally fuck up this man's life. Like, Chicago bitches are really ruthless. I understand. Judy is coming for people when she comes to me, but she try to go for the gutter and the jugular and that for coming for Sydney, I guess that was like, you know, that's what's gonna hurt her the most. Gays love Judy for one, that's her biggest group of fans. I just feel like when it come out of her mouth and when she talk about her shit, it come out as transphobic because bitch, that's what she doing. She just popping her shit. Now, when Jason did address it, I feel like he was trying to dig in her ass because she did make transphobic comments. They was transphobic comments, but I don't think she's at heart transphobic. Like, I don't think she'll see a trans woman and be like, oh, uh, uh, or like, what the fuck? I mean, I don't, maybe, maybe, maybe she will. I don't know. I don't know how the fuck she act. Cause a lot of a lot of Chicago bitches be acting like they they love the trans girls and they're, oh yeah, do your shit. But if a trans bitch try to fuck with her man, girl, you a training girl, fuck you. Da -da 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 -da, like you a weak ass, nasty ass bitch. Like girl, they they be like that. So uh, I I would. I'ma shut up. So Jason um starts going in on the trans issues from the beginning and say that Judy's um say she, she friends with Sydney and then Seven say like they was just saying that, um they love each other backstage and then Judy says she not transphobic and then Jason bring a member saying that him as a member of the LGBT community like he has to like you know address the situation while he's here. And they watched a clip of all the transphobic fucking comments that Judy has made and it kind of like did not look good for her because like she was saying like at the reunion like that her brother was gonna fight Sydney like if you're a trans woman. I feel like you sure seem like, oh, my brother gonna beat your ass. It's kind of like still transphobic at the end of the day. Cause you like, bitch, you still a man, so a man needs to handle you. Regardless of you saying, oh, I'm not transphobic, you kind of like, you know, contradicting yourself in the same time by saying like, I'm gonna get my brother to beat your ass. Cause it's like, bitch, you basically saying like, oh, you still a nigga at the end of the day. But then that's when they keep interrupting him and he fucking read them hoes. He like, bitch, can I say what the fuck I gotta say? Like, damn, I'm the fucking host. Like, let me talk. And he like, you know, shut them hoes down. I record on this fucking camera without it being in the sun and it cutting off. Cause it keeps saying it's the temperature too high. Bitch, you trying to say my breath hot? That's when Jason asked Sydney about the comments that he sh was made on the show. Then this bitch dodges the question and say that she made a video saying that Judy is not transphobic. Baby, he didn't ask you that question. He asked you, based on what she said on the show, do you feel as though that she is transphobic? What's those transphobic comments? You saying, oh, but I actually made a video saying that, you know, she's not transphobic. Regardless of what video that you said or how y'all felt about y'all friendship, she said what she said. And what she said, if she said it to a different bitch, it would have been transphobic. Regardless if she said it to you or a different, you know, trans woman, it was transphobic. And that's what Natalie said. She don't feel like she was disloyal from Sydney because, bitch, you're on the show and, like, girl, you're here. So if she feel like you, you was a disloyal person she didn't fuck with you, you wouldn't be on the show in the first place. I feel like that was a bullshit answer to say because, girl, just because you got her on the show, we all know Sydney Star is known for being a clown. Y'all already know that this show was a fool from the beginning. Y'all don't have no structure. Y'all don't have no cash. Y'all don't have no trip. Y'all don't have no. But y'all don't have like no set thing that y'all doing. So you just throwing her on the show wasn't really you like you know loving a trans woman. It was just you needed some extra content for your show so it didn't flop even though it still did. She don't want to leave and then then so Natalie says she can only do so much to keep her on here. Sydney saying she want to be on season two. Sydney, you're not gonna be on season two. I'm sorry, Ribby. This reunion really kind of sealed the deal for you not being on season two because you did too much and this was what you did that. So the fact you're not coming back. Now let's say Sydney doing a great job and that like, you know, she ate it up. She did what she had to do. She did what needed to be done. Basically trying to say like gay stuff that people were saying in the comments that nobody really said. Nobody said that Sydney ate it up. Nobody said Sydney did what she needed to do. Everybody said that they hated her. Judy like what she's talking about, like you're done. Like nobody liked you on the show. And then Tamar saying like, she not talking about what the fans said. She's talking about what you said on the audio. And I like, is the whole show gonna be about the fucking audio? Well, bitch, what else is it gonna be about? What else on the, in the house do we have to resolve? Sarah not here, Seven and Sarah already fall. You and Christina are already not finna get into it no more. So what else is there else to talk about other than the fucking audio? You saying, is that gonna be the whole show? There's nothing else to be on the show. This is the new juicy content that's come to the light. So this is what we wanna hear. So this is why it's being talked about. That's what you and Jocelyn wanna do. Like, Jocelyn don't wanna motherfucking fess up to the shit that's like the new shit that's coming up. About her talking about people dead motherfucking relatives. Sydney do her big one. And she was waiting to do the whole time and throw the cereal on Judy. Saying you got swerved breakfast in bed, but you didn't even get the land right. This was your big moment and you fucking stuttered. You said, bitch, you got to swerve breakfast in bed. Like, girl, come on now, that wasn't cute. Judy says Cindy is a weirdo. Like, what is wrong with you? Then Judy, like, um, tell, like, like, you know, look how you acting like you're a fan. And then Cindy try to kick cereal on to Judy and fall again. 
for the seventieth time that bitch fell again. Jason say like everybody keep y'all shit to yourself like y'all cereal. You just come over here drinking my drinking this hepatitis and COVID and shit going around like everybody just stay in their seats and be to they self. So Sydney say Judy was her best friend at one time. So she found out from her old assistant that Judy got Sydney took out the show. I just feel like regardless of Judy, you know whatever the fuck Judy said or had going on, she was a trans woman on the show and. They wasn't gonna cast her anyway, like let's be for real. Like they was not gonna cast no trans woman on Bad Girls Club. I don't know what what they what they thought it was gonna do, what process they go through. The, the moment they found out that, that um Sydney was trans, they was gonna take her off the show, regardless of how mad she is or what whatever she thought about. They was not gonna let this shit slide. And then at the time period of BGC now, how the world was and how it is now. Now I say nowadays, if BGC was still going on season after season, then we'd probably have a trans whole cast. Now that would be sickening. A whole can a trans cast of girls, but they not finna put no trans girl in a, in a midst of house with a whole bunch of girls especially after she just did this shit right here she a real ass bitch and she been a real ass bitch since day one and that scene trying to ruin her career because she said that um judy um was talking shit about her to her um assistant every day when she get home saying that they had never cast her because she a, she a trainee and she she this and she that um Sydney said do you want another drink throwing her and then judy said if you throw a drink on me her brother gonna throw bullets at your fucking head this gave me <laughs> this gave me y'all know what i'm gonna say Bitch, tape that bitch mouth up. If y'all take, if y'all take my mouth up, y'all gonna be taping this bitch up, a body bag. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought about when this fuck this bitch said this. And Judy say, um, that's a girl with a penis, and she showed her her dick, and what about her? And Judy start crying and say she's a black woman, and they don't know about her, what it was like rooming with that. And it's like Judy, you saying you don't want to be transphobic, and you saying that you don't want, you know, you don't want to be looked at as transphobic, but like, but you keep saying transphobic shit as you keep like, you know, defending yourself. You keep talking about, oh, she's a man, she's a girl with a dick, and she's. And she's, um, I don't know, y'all don't know what it was like to, to be in a room with that. And like, you know, it's just like, it's, it's not looking good for you. It's like, it's kind of like you kind of bust out crying as your defense mechanism for being transphobic. Cause like everybody's putting your tea in there. Jason was kind of trying to like dig in your ass about what you were saying because the LGBT community was mad as fuck about what you were saying because girl, you're not supposed to be on here calling you no know, fucking girl Bianca Sausage when 90% of your fucking fan base is the gay boy. So he say, she did stop Sydney's bag and that it wasn't her. Then that's when Tanisha come vouch that she didn't do that. And then Sydney say Tanisha don't know nothing. And then Tanisha say, um, Sydney, she do know what it is and her and Sydney get into it. I feel like Tanisha want to get into it with Sydney really, really bad. For once she irritated, but also like Tanisha really don't have no storyline on the show. So like, you know, to be into it with anybody. And I feel like her and Sydney being into it would be iconic. Like if they fought, I feel like for one, Tanisha would be Sydney ass. I do not feel like Sydney could fight. I'm sorry, she do not give me fighter vibe. I feel like Tanisha will dog Sydney and that would really be iconic. So then Sydney says she got receipts from the screenshots from the producer of BGC9 and she say his name and they bleep it out. Sydney is roaming a franchise and she should not be on here. Then Sydney say show the motherfucker screenshot and the receipts. So now they pop up with this motherfucking Instagram DM and then my girl Tamar do her big one read aloud where she read aloud the messages that was in the motherfucking DM. So then now the person saying that they sorry, they can't disclose any information and they don't mind you tagging her up. And then Seven say like, that's not confirmation. Cause Loki, the, the whole message just wasn't confirmation. It was really like somebody like reaching out saying like, oh, hey, can you like give me information about what happened? And then he said like, oh, he can't disclose anything. I mean, regardless of him saying he don't, he can't disclose anything, that doesn't mean that there's something to disclose. Just cause he say, oh, I can't say nothing about it. Doesn't mean like, oh, um, it's, some, it's a secret and I just can't tell you. So. It kind of didn't prove anything at all, and Sydney kind of looked stupid again for the 60th time. Now Seven says like, you know, you didn't confirm anything, and Sydney started yelling at her, and then Seven like, girl, calm the fuck down. But everybody confused. It was like a little silent moment where everybody was just like, okay, like, what the fuck is the receipt even talking about? Everybody was trying to like understand what Sydney was meaning by the receipts. It was just like it wasn't adding up, no way, shape, or form. Sydney said that Janelle was next, and she said she got something for Janelle too. So that's when Judy says Sydney is bullying biological women. And when they clap back, then they call her transphobic. Now, I do see that too because in the house, Sydney did say that she was kind of a little jealous of Janelle and like, you know, she she was like, you know, having problems with herself, but she felt like she got to like down to the next bitch in order to make herself feel better. And she do start picking like problems and stuff. Like her and Judy could have had like issues before, but literally her and Janelle whole situation, Janelle was kind of only getting to it with Sydney because she was just tired of her shit. Janelle didn't have a really like solidified issue with with Sydney. 
she was just like, girl, I'm tired of your ass acting extra. And she just said that, and then that's why like, kind of her and got her got into it. That's when now Cindy do her next fiasco. The old picture Janelle, it was, I guess it was like a Google picture or something, like a um, like a doll or something. It wasn't like no actual picture of her. She showed a picture of Janelle, and she like running around with it, and Janelle like get up, like she finna beat her ass. I feel like Janelle was gonna fight her for real, but I don't feel like Janelle would've swung on her, but like, if Cindy would've kept getting next to her, I feel like Janelle would've like did her big one. So Jason say what he's always thought about Cindy is that she wants attention, like she's always been an attention whore. And then Jason say Janelle don't look nothing like that picture, like he don't even like girls, but she, he, she don't look bad and it seemed like no that's a before picture but regardless like Janelle wasn't really like ugly on her season either like she didn't look bad before her surgery regardless Jason said if you want to be a circus animal like let's do it for the next five minutes and then let's get back to what the fuck we came here to do so then Cindy say um Tamar like look at the pic like you know like you know look at it look at it and then Tamar like you know what like this one Tamar kind of really got in Cindy ass and I know this was like this is gonna really hurt Cindy because Tamar is such an icon where it's like if you get read by an icon and she not even like doing it to you whether to like to be like rude she doing this like a disappointing way like you know looking at you as a, like like a motherly thing that she didn't do it as like oh i bitch i fuck you type thing she's doing this like a girl like you're a clown at the end of the day and you're kind of like not doing what you're supposed to be doing tamar say it's not funny it's actually disappointing you're supposed to be a staple for the lgbt community and you over here doing stupid stuff and then being disrespectful talking out of turn and but then want people to respect you and respect your you know your morals and your and how you you know live your life that's when tamar then gets up and walk off the stage and she say like you can't ask for it both ways you can't be a, a tyrant and be out here like you know cutting up but then get mad when somebody disrespect you and come come for your juggling then he said like tamar you don't know what they did in the house she said i give a, i could give a fiery shit she said i give a fuck fiery shit <laughs> that bitch said i give a fuck fiery shit about what they did to your house bitch is disrespectful and what she doing is beneath her and like what the fuck is she doing with her career and she leave zeus we're gonna start at zeus because y'all know it's time for me to talk my shit i got i got i got something to say zeus What's up with y'all with these reunions? Like y'all don't know how to like run a reunion. Like y'all don't know how to have segments and, and tell these bitches like speaking on your turn and yeah. What, what natural say? I speak, you speak, I speak, I speak, you speak. That's how it's gonna go. You all should have told them hoes a natural. I speak, you speak, I speak. That's how it's gonna go. You before these bitches came out, y'all need to give these hoes a pep talk. Do not speak over the next bitch. Don't do like y'all need to let these bitches know like it's no structure to the reunions and that's why it's out here looking late. So next time, get it together. Let's say this motherfucker video, I hope y'all enjoyed the part of this reunion because the reunion suck. Like, it really, 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 really suck. Like, let me know what, who, what team y'all on. Are y'all team Natalie? Are y'all team Seven? Are y'all team Christina? Are y'all team Sydney? Are y'all team Judy? Are y'all team Janelle? Whose team are y'all on? Because right now, for one, I am team Janelle. I don't know why, but Janelle is doing what I needed. She don't look bad. She don't look cute, but she don't look bad. I mean, I'm sorry, that dress was a little crazy to me. I don't know what type of gladiator fight she was dressing up to go get into but it, it didn't give she could have just gave me a really simple pretty ass dress and she could have just did and served like the feathers and all the other shit girl like you like you going from madagascar sydney looked a fucking man she had a clip right here on her dress like why the fuck your dress got a collar then lauren say why your dress got a collar why your dress got a clip bitch judy i feel like judy did look cute for the most part it was like the dress was a little weird but it was still cute natalie i don't know why the fuck she dressed to fight and didn't fight, but I don't get Follow my social media, it's my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, everyone who fucks you about that. Make sure y'all wanna see that I'm the realest to ever do it. I mean, y'all see, I just did that. So go do that, period. Um, just thank you to everybody who also been streaming my album. Like, I really appreciate all the support. Um, I know the little support thing always pop up. Like, like, who ain't cutting? Like, who ain't cutting? Who ain't cutting? Okay, I'm saying, thank you. That's the motherfucking video. It's thanking since we out. Ugh, bitch, I'm. Hi!